What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Big Goose Love the Cat back here once again. How's the wife? How's the kids? Great, perfect, amazing. Today, we're going to be checking out scammers panic after I hack their live CCTV cameras. Now, ladies and gentlemen, listen, the scam life is not for everybody, okay? And you're about to see exactly why in a few moments. Scamming is hard, man. Scamming is not easy. You need to be able to look at that grandma that you're stealing the life savings of, okay? Dead in her face and just feel nothing, all right? The second you start to feel something, the second you start to feel like, oh, how is she going to pay her medical bills now? Oh, how is she going to survive? That's when you know you're not built for it, okay? That's when you know, like, you just done, all right? You're just not built for that kind of life. Contrary to popular belief, I know how this looks, okay? I know that I am kind of look like I'm cosplaying one of these scamming fellas, but I promise you I'm not, okay? <laughs> Trust me. Anyways, uh, we're about to get into this. Make sure you guys like the video. Subscribe to the channel right now. New merch is in the description. Go ahead and check that out. Support your boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's get into this. This is live footage of scammers fully panicking. God Let's damn. give these scammers a phone call and record their live reactions to a hacker revealing their true identities. Yeah. My name is Sanjeev. Your name is Sanjeev, and your friend next to you is no! wearing a brown shirt. No! Not the Gavi! Sanjeev. Not the Gavi! Oh, yeah, this is <laughs> definitely it. <laughs> yo, they're taping it forever. Yeah, they're covering the. That's crazy. All right, so I'm going to explain to you how I found these scammers. I was doing my usual look around for scammer phone numbers. When what? I came across a list of websites. My that usual very look around? To say the least. The website looks fairly tame and legit on the surface, but in reality, it's all a scheme to get you to pay for useless drivers or security. Can you just imagine waking up in the morning and going like, yeah. Let me just look for fucking scammers to goddamn expose. Like, can you just imagine? Like, I know this is probably this guy's job to do this. Usually, people avoid the scammers, right? This guy wakes up and chooses the violence. He's like, yo, where are, where the scammers at? Like, where the f scammers at? I'm ready to expose somebody. Where the scammers at? And he's not even a cop. Like, if he was a cop, it makes sense. But he's not even a cop and he's doing that. Crazy. Isn't that crazy? Across a fake website that's offering Alexa support, will someone who just purchased themselves a brand new Amazon Alexa device, and when they tried to set it up, the instructions informed them to download the Alexa app. Oh. So they go on Google and search something up like download Alexa app. But instead of coming across the Google Play Store or the App Store, they get those fake sponsored scam links oh. that I showed you previously. Now on the website, the victim is given multiple options. Why to is that allowed to I'm happen? Windows, so I go ahead and initiate the download for Windows. And I get this fake looking progress bar. And after it loads, it gives me the exact same error message every single time. Reading network error. We couldn't complete your download. Please chat with us for more info. Uh -oh. And under that, a little option to join the chat. And that's where you're going to find Sanji? Exactly where this is going. As soon as I join the support chat, the scammers will ask me for my name and phone number for a call back to my cell phone. Once they have me on the phone, they will convince me that I need to install remote access software for oh. them to fix the issue. Oh. And I do the one thing that you are never supposed to do. I let them remotely gain access to my computer, but while they attempt to connect to me, Did he use I am a virtual actually box? connecting back to them, reversing the access onto their computer. What is let me just yeah, show, show you. Me. I don't know let what the IP show. is. Look over here. Uh -oh. Do you see that here? What is that? These are the people who are connected with your computer, sir. They're connected with my right computer now. right now. Right now, the scammer is connected. Yo, it to must my be computer, so annoying playing stupid with them. Right like, God, that must be exhausting. And I'm watching her computer screen as she attempts to run the scam. With their devices, yes. And in order to do that, sir, in order to install the device, the drivers, and to make sure that they work fine on your computer and they've been. No okay, yeah, I think he is studio, using a virtual box. Uh, you, Smart. How long you want the driver? Or virtual you machine. For the two years, you want it for the three, five, ten. Now, while the so-called issues on the computer are actually completely normal, and everything the scammer has told me up to this point has been a lie, he will now try to pitch me one of their bogus support plans. Uh -oh. oh, okay. And what's it called? Okay, so I see the price here. It's two hundred ninety-nine dollars for two years. And then I see three hundred. For the protection of your phone. Four ninety-nine. Yeah. It is a protection on your devices as well. For example, if in the future somebody gets connected with a computer or your IP address and they try to do anything bad activity on the devices of yours, they won't be able to connect with you. So. Okay, wonderful. So that's all. I, all I have to do is pay for the security, and all those problems will stop. Bro, yo, this is crazy. Like, nigga, have you ever heard of malware bites? Like, have you ever heard of Windows Defender? Like, it comes already pre-installed on your computer. Like, 
Bro, I can't, like, listen, to anybody that's wondering, okay, I just really want, I want to know, like, I just really want, to anybody that's wondering, that's just stupid, that lives under a rock, doesn't know how technology works, let me just, let me just let you know, every single Windows modern day computer that you buy nowadays from the, from the store or whatever, from Best Buy, they all come with an antivirus, they all come with a, with what's called Windows Defender, it's, a, it's an automatically built Windows antivirus in the computer. There's no need to download any hocus bogus shit. There's already an antivirus. Do people not know like what a firewall is? What an antivirus is that? Like it's already in the computer. So that people like this cannot take advantage of you online, okay? This is like this is like cyber abuse. This is crazy. Oh uh, yes. But there was not a single problem in the first place with this fake virtual computer that I created 10 minutes ago. Okay, so you was and using honestly, a virtual machine. honestly, I wasted enough of this scammer's time, so I decided to confront her about the scam. Yes, sir. Do you want this driver? Do you want this security? Or you don't want this, though? I don't know. Some of those services were supposed to be running. There's Some of them are supposed to be stopped. Some of them are supposed to be running. And you're telling me there's something wrong with my computer. I'm starting to think that you're a scammer. Are oh! you a scammer? Oh! Well, I would have a scammer. It sounds like you're a scammer. Oh, why Damn. is disconnecting from my oh. computer, you fake scammer? That's what you think, sir. But that's the truth. You know you're a scammer, right? I mean, bro, that's if your name is Jenny Carter right, so with a thick-ass right Indian accent like that, bro, right you know now. it's a scam, bro. Come but on, dog. What was happening, I was silently taking a look into this scammer's network, and that was actually when I found the set of CCTV security cameras, Guess the password, oh, and you can see everything that was going on inside password? of this massive scam call center. How do you these guess the password? These cameras gave me insight into the day-to-day -day lives of these scammers, and gave me a good sense of what the call center looked like, and what the layout of the building was. The first thing I wanted to do was make a mini-map of the call center. In total, they had 12 camera views, and Shit. by doing a simple head count, I could see that there were around 15 to 20 agents usually on the floor at once. God damn, these niggas look like times, slobs! Eating and socializing, just like in any normal job. Yeah, Bro, these niggas man. look like slobs. Look at them. <laughs> now, while I gained access to only one machine in this call center and just breached their CCTV security cameras, I didn't know how I was going to further advance my investigation in proving that these people are guaranteed scammers. Oh. I had access to their cameras, but they didn't have a feature that allowed me to listen into the audio. And even if I could listen into the audio, it would be very difficult for me to record any scams. The scammers were actually nice enough to have call recording on their phone system switched There's on. There's no way. But even better yet, they had an application on some of their machines There's by the name no of Flashback way. Recorder, which is an application that not only screen records the actual desktop display, but the microphone connected to that computer. Now, yes, I can match the timeline of the audio to the timeline of the CCTV's internal playback to watch scams that have happened in the past, but the scammers have made it even easier for me by by not using any traditional phone systems, but rather virtual ones. What? I ended up getting access to a couple more machines in this call center, which allowed me to get some rock solid evidence of their activities. Damn. Okay, that is also not working. It's giving me the same error message. Can't read. Can't so why read is it? Why is this? Does he work with law enforcement? Why is he doing this I'll shit? I do some steps on your computer. Please follow it. Let me connect with your computer remotely, and I'll set it up for you. Would that work? That's fine. I, I would not trust a nigga that sound like that. Instructions. I would not start trust a nigga that sound like that. On her computer. Now look at here, ma'am. Can you see there are a number of Amit, fake right name, now, Nick Jones? By any chance, did you stop it, ma'am? Most of your services are down right now that connect your smart devices together. And that's the reason you're having this trouble uh, with the network, ma'am. So let me do one thing for you. Let me put a proper scan on it so we can get the result. A proper right scan thing, okay? or a proper I scam? I've now heard enough of this, and it's now time for me to warn this person about the scam. I don't know if I said this before, but I'm going to say this again. If a man calls you claiming to be Nick Jones with a very thick Indian accent like this, please, for the love of God... Do not think it's anything but a scam. I don't I don't know if there's people that are stupid out here that that do not understand common sense. But a guy who speaks like this with a thick ass Indian accent, there's no way this nigga's name is Nick Jones. Okay? There's no way that this nigga's name is Nick Jones. All right, Nick Jones is like a guy that works at the union. Okay? He works he's been working in the union for the past 45 years, okay? Nick Jones is a guy that used to have that used to be part of a garage band back when he was a teenager, okay? That's Nick Jones. This is not Nick Jones, okay? If he calls you up with a thick ass Indian accent like this claiming to be Nick Jones, that nigga is not Nick Jones. Okay, that is a lie. Okay? He is false claiming. That's not Nick Jones. Hello. Hello? 
and it's now time for me to warn this person about the scam. Hi, hello? Hello. Yes. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you, were you on the phone with a gentleman that sounded Indian a second ago? Damn. Yes. Yeah, I wanted to tell <laughs> Why you, you that say it like that? from actual tech support. I deal with fraud like he was a scammer. He was trying to like yeah, ask. Yeah, I heard that when he was trying to download stuff on my computer. Yeah, yeah. I just like I wanted to warn you for the future. Like, if someone ever tells you to install something like that on your computer, it's like ninety nine percent always a scam. Okay. Thankfully, I was able. That's to a good thing. Warn that person about the scam. That's a good thing. But there thing were many more people who had previously been scammed before I had a chance to intervene. This was evident from the many photos I downloaded from the scammer's computers, oh. showing payments made via credit card and checks, oh. anywhere from $100 to $1,200, oh. or even $3,000 for oh. absolutely nothing. This God. photo in particular that made me really disgusted God. with these scammers, showing how they forced an elderly-looking man to open his webcam, write a check for them, and send it off to some random shell company in the United States. Oh. This is not only why I wanted to identify the heartless scammers in India, but also the people facilitating the laundering of money. Because processing checks internationally is far more difficult and could arouse suspicion, the scammers will they just dap the each other up? to shell companies in the United States. There are many such companies involved in the scheme, and I've blurred their names because I've reported all of them to U.S. federal authorities where they're being investigated. Oh. The information on those checks. Anyways, I can't show you the business names that I reported to law enforcement, but what I can do is try to get the identities of every single person working inside the call center in India. My first approach was taking a look into the scammers' files in their computers, but this would turn out to be unsuccessful, that? as they mostly only stored scam-related documents and not really any personal information that led me to identifying who they were. So at this point, I didn't really know how I was going to get the information of all 30 of these employees, but that's when I noticed someone on one of the camera views in a separate cabin. This individual is Avnit. She would turn out to be one of the HR managers working in the call center. How did he get the full the name? She operates in, literally has a sign that says HR room. And this <laughs> what? Is where I actually use the CCTV cameras to my advantage. This is I some wizardry. The until Avnit would come into the office, waited for her to take the laptop out of her bag, watched her connect to the hijacked internet that I had access to, oh. and I was able to pivot to her computer directly. That her is computer smart. Alone, I downloaded over 500 files containing confidential data. I can tell you this because the first few files I clicked on had things like employee resumes photos of their ID cards, even pictures of the scammers themselves, <laughs> and finally a spreadsheet that contains all of the agents and managers' personal names, phone numbers, email addresses, and the exact location of where they live. Nigga! Yo, nigga, why don't you work for the fucking FBI? Like, what the f*** are you doing making YouTube videos for? Like, why the f*** is the FBI, CIA, like, why the f*** has Homeland Security not hired this guy? Yo! Yo, if I was the U.S. government watching this, I would be terrified. I'd be so scared. I'd be like, yo, find wherever the hell he's at in the world. Bring him in for questioning. Offer him a job. If he refuses, put him in jail. Like, I would be so t- Nigga, what are you- Yo, what are you doing making YouTube videos, dog? This is like some CSI Miami type shit. And this nigga sitting here uploading YouTube videos like me? What? Oh my god, I'm not gonna hurt myself. Let me stop. A big leak into the company's employee data, and the reason the HR manager would store the scammer's ID photos on her computer was because these scammers don't use traditional keys to enter the call center, but rather Pink? access Kinda cards. Fruity. Here I could see the HR manager using the portal to request a new access card for one of the agents. It says she's using an account owned by someone with the name of Bekujas. And we can see a company name on the left side that reads Sky Sailor Ventures Sky Private Limited. Oh. And if I do a quick Google search, GTA of that company, Five sound an ass company name. What's a scammer is that? Info post that was created back in November of 2021. The information listed on that post were things like the director's names of the company, Bekuchat Rora and Rajat Arma. And where have I seen those names before? Well, I saw it 10 seconds ago on the HR manager's laptop oh, when she logged into the portal to submit the access card. Oh, and at this point, I already found public records of these two scam fraudsters registering Sky Sailor Ventures Private Limited back in 2019. This would turn out to be the real Indian company. Oh. So here I could confirm that Rajaj and Bekujat were running a scam call center in Punjab, India. And if you still don't believe me, I went and found Rajat's LinkedIn account, which showed me a photo of how he Damn. looks like. And what you know, the HR manager has a photo of someone on her hard drive that looks very similar to the profile Damn! picture on LinkedIn. This is Rajat. Now it was time for me to pivot my access to the people who actually manage all of the finances and bookkeeping. Okay, so these agents, when yo, they he, the yo, he's, of scam, they open yo, up he's exposing all of the goddamn information what? over to someone by the name of Chavi. I'm pretty sure this guy manages all of the financial data in this call center. So let's put his name onto Google and see what comes up. Okay, so I see a LinkedIn profile. Let's click on this. Bro, 
Oh, Job all of the departments? Yeah, that's definitely our guy. He's Look exposing at that photo. every department? Okay, yeah, he's the operations manager. We definitely need to access his computer. So after a couple of days of me just waiting and waiting, I finally got access to his computer. I won't tell you how I hacked this computer since I want to use the same methods in the future, but mm. I pretty much got the keys to all of the financial information that you could imagine. I'll talk more about that in a second, but I realized I didn't even need to gather more information on Xavi because nah, when I this is crazy. 500 files worth of Imagine pissing this guy off. off the HR manager's computer, I got all of his info in the process. I have his personal information sheet, his Indian identity card or Aadhaar card. Indian identity card? This very clear photo that matches up perfectly with his ID card and his personal LinkedIn page. Finally, it was now time to extract all of the data on his computer. And let me tell you now, this guy had access to everything. I could see the payment databases, the Stripe accounts, and even the scammers creating the invoices on PayPal oh that they would my directly God. send to their scam victims. Oh of course, my if the God. scammers were already dumb enough to let me see all of this, surely they would be dumb enough to not set passwords on their confidential spreadsheets, right? No! Well, let's find out. Okay, let's open this. Ah, dang. Looks like we can't access their master tracking spreadsheet. Oh, wait. I suppose if I have access to their internal cameras, I could just watch them type the password to the spreadsheets live <laughs> on <Yo>! CCTV. <clears throat> If only it was that easy, though. Actually, it was that easy because I exported over 250 clear text passwords from the scammers. Their computers. Yo! This gave me direct <laughs> access to all of these accounts. And the first thing I did was log into these accounts and silently export all of the transactions that had been initiated on. Nah, Stripe this is some PayPal. like. That's when I noticed these scammers are even dumber than I originally thought. Rajaj, one of the directors and key players of this operation, used his real name phone number, oh. and personal email address to set up this fraudulent oh, PayPal. Not like this guy this. who thinks he's tough sh with his call center and illegal scams oh, put his real not name like on this PayPal. Congratulations, you played yourself. Can you just imagine running into this nigga in Call of Duty, bro? And just like, you just start talking shit at him? <laughs> yo, you yo, you... <laughs> Yo, you run into this nigga in Call of Duty, just start talking hot shit at him. Next thing you know, bro, he comes back in five minutes going like, yeah, by the way, yeah, isn't your name Mitchell? Yeah, I, I thought your name was Mitchell. Isn't it? Like, did, don't you live in 345 Don Very? Isn't that where you live? Sorry, 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 sorry. 345 Don Pennsylvania. Is that? Is that? And then you're just like sitting there quiet. You're like, what the f? Trace the scam payments right back to his Indian bank account. Oh, Finally, man. I gained access to their simple invoice page, which revealed how much money they have stolen between the years of 2021 and 2024. Each month, these scammers on average steal around $100,000. And oh. in the time span of just one year, they steal over $1.1 million. God if do the damn! Math of how much money they have stolen over the course of three years, it would be exactly $2,785,728. So, yo, why US isn't the government Canadian doing citizens. anything? But if I had all of this information, why what else isn't was I the missing? Well, I still had no idea where the scam call center was located. I had access to two outside angles on the CCTV that gave me a look into the entrance of the call center. On one of those views, I could see a security booth and a little road. But this scam call center has Wi-Fi in and outside of the building. And by using the names of the wireless networks, as well as their strengths relative to the scammer's computers, we can precisely determine where the scam call center is located. Mm. And when I put those coordinates into Google Earth, I get zoomed into this location in Mohali, Punjab. So when you enter Street View, you can see Villa Verde, Residential Tower, Cork City. And then this text over here is too blurry for me to read. Uh, and then some more Cork City and then the Atrium Cork City. So I thought this security booth right here was the same one. But if we actually compare it to the nah. one on the CCTV, they're actually yeah, just they don't add up. different. Yeah. So at the beginning, I thought this building on the right was the actual scam call center but it's not so the actual yeah they're they're running the legitimate business in there is hopefully towards the back of the building so if we do a quick zoom in we can see on the left side over here that's the, it's the security booth so let's take a look at the cctv and that's the same and if we how can you right tell side, that's the we same can see the parking lot and on the left side we have that turn so i believe the scammers are in this building right here so these scammers are located in the atrium cork city building of sector 74 phase a b mohali punjab when i put that address into google the Ooh. first result is the official corkcity.com website which what is the, the exact same website city? i saw the hr manager using previously i very quickly found this youtube video giving a tour of the building oh. and at first i recognized the entrance from google Who that? imagery but when they brought the camera yeah, to the back of the building Who's i was 100 able to confirm the location of the call center. Is she 18? in this frame right here they even got a shot of the entrance which matches up perfectly with what we can see on the cctv cameras so these scammers are located in this very high-end 
end building. As stated in the description in this video, the building has a ton of amenities, like a massive swimming pool, Damn. a full fitness center, Damn. CCTV security cameras, and a 24-7 on-site security team. Damn. I want to identify if any other people have dealt with this call center in the past, and while looking at many reviews made by previously scammed victims, I actually remembered that I picked up a password to the scammer's Better Business Bureau account, allowing me to have full control of all of the reviews. Now, I want to like respond to everyone and be like, oh, this is a scam company that we, oh, we do, yes. we actually. Very sorry. I want your money back, go to your bank and ask for a charge back. I'll actually give you the director's name while I'm at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that a, did that guy get scammed? There you go. So that's exactly what I did. I replied to all of the people agreeing with their statements and even confirming that they are indeed a scam company. <laughs> and at this point, I had gathered pretty much all the evidence I needed. I had the names of the bosses and most of the employees. I had their exact location. Damn. And finally, I was able to trace the scam payments right back to the managing Yo, director. if this Instead nigga was light Yagami, he'd nothing, have everything he need for those niggas to be grass. I'm not gonna lie. The first thing I did was- Thank God you don't got no Google death AdSense note. Account so that nobody you got the name, face, address. Anymore. Then I decided to report the website itself to go daddy so that no victims can access their chat support and phone numbers thirdly i reported the scammers their service agreements to docusign next i sent all of the scammers any desk ids to my friend matt who works at any desk and he managed to ban all of them permanently off oh, of the platform and smart Rashad, i reported all of your personal information to the fbi as well damn Good luck trying to scam now, fbi finally, i logged into the scammers paypal account and manually started to refund each one of their victims of course this process would take way too long so i reported their fraudulent accounts to paypal themselves who then <laughs> responded by banning their PayPal account. Oh! No more direct debit payments for them. In late December of 2023, the scammers actually removed the CCTV cameras off of the main network that I had access to, ultimately killing my visual view into this call center. Nah. But the scammers forgot about one critical thing. I could watch them through the laptop webcam. <laughs> Well, kind of. These scammers actually taped up most of the laptop webcams in this call center, so I unfortunately wasn't able to call any of the scammers directly looking at their face, but maybe I can confront them from a different angle. No one really uses this computer right here, and the closest people sitting next to this computer are these guys. So let's give these scammers a scare by revealing their true identities on a phone call. Yo, can you just imagine you just sit in there doing your job, which just so happens to be scamming innocent people out of their hard-earned money. Okay, and you're just sitting there, and then you just pick up the phone thinking like, okay, this is just another routine call. Some nigga, fuck, you pick up the phone, some nigga just starts doxing the hell out of all of your information. Yeah, by the way, your name is Sarah. Yeah, you live in 145 Pennsylvania. Can you just imagine? Yeah, you speak to one of my superiors, okay? Hold on. Okay, let me speak to him. Yes, how may I help you? Yeah, so I, I bet I can actually guess your name. Damn! Yeah. Not my like this. Sanjeev. Your name is Sanjeev. Sanjeev! Your friend next to you is wearing a brown shirt. So <laughs> Sanjeev, why are you scamming people, Sanjeev? <laughs> what? Yeah, your name is Sanjeev. No. <laughs> yeah, your name is Sanjeev. No. Yeah, yeah, you know Chavi. Nigga, your name you know is not Chavi Adam. Shut the fuck up. Rajat. Your name is Sanjeev. I you believe know Rajat. him. Rajat. No. Yeah, yeah, Avnit. The HR manager. So San Sanjeev, let's let's talk for a bit. You know I can see you right now. Wave at the camera. You see the CCTV camera. You see the cameras right above you. No, look no, up. No. Look up at the CCTV, Sanjeev. <laughs> Sanjeev, look at the CCTV. Yo, yo CCTV, he's Sanjeev. <laughs> yo, he's scared shitless. No, wrong. So you're running scams, right, Sanjeev? You're running scams. No. Yes, you are. Oh, man, you, no. Yeah, what, I can tell you your job. Your job is to manage all of the chats. So like the people send you the chat, Damn. and then you give it to the so you. So how are you not this Nigga, why haven't you hung up the scammer. phone Sanjeev. yet? Explain to me. No, 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 you are wrong. Are you panicking? You are Yo, he is, <laughs> he's, he's definitely right panicking. You. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, can you please pass the call back to David? David? I am, like, I mean, you are already talking to him. Nigga, your uh, name is David not right David. Now? Yes. Oh, Nigga, okay, your so name David, is not David. Right now, right? You're wearing a brown shirt. Like, look behind you. You know, uh, no. so you know, Skyfair travels. Look at the CCTV cameras behind you. Like, you know, like, look behind you. I don't you. know what all you're like, saying. Turn around in your chair. Turn around. Like, turn, turn around. Like, I'm looking at you. Turn around in your chair. No, bro. Turn around. He's <laughs> getting someone. He's getting someone right now, I think. At this point, Sanjeev, the scammer that I just confronted. Oh, my. He's got. Yo, this nigga got all the angles. Earlier that day, the HR manager conveniently left her computer in Rajat's personal cabin, which allowed me to grab this webcam footage. <laughs> Why is he smiling while he's saying that? 
You are Sanjeev. I know you money is all chat. You money is all chat. <laughs> Why is he smiling? I would be terrified, bro. और आपका नाम ले रहा था राज ओ राजा ओ ऐसे बोला राजा के अंदर गया या द बॉस आई नो द बॉस इज नॉट स्माइलिंग ये अपना बंद हो गया कि कोई है कोई ना इट्स डेफिनेटली नॉट समबडी फ्रॉम योर टीम बडी डेफिनेटली नॉट जब मैंने बात की ना उसने सिद्ध बोल दिया यू आर संजीव He's sweating. He's sweating out of his pockets. After this conversation, the HR manager entered the cabin and she unfortunately grabbed the laptop and took it back to her office. When she made it back to her room, they finally told her everything that had happened. Due to a technical issue, I wasn't able to get audio to this portion of the confrontation, but we can see the HR manager Avnit looking visually concerned when she <laughs> notices her webcam light is on as well. <laughs> of course, she doesn't know anything about computers, so she leaves the room to grab someone with more experience. Oh. When she comes back in, we can see her point directly at the webcam. Sanjeev, the person we can see right here, tells her it might be a good idea to put some tape over the webcam. Fortunately for us, this is the HR manager and not the IT guy, so instead of taping the actual webcam, Cam itself, she taped the webcam light instead. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is she dumb? Is she dumb? As for She's the main room, dumb. Everyone was sort of in a panic mode, with a ton of people looking pretty concerned. Here we can see Chavi, the operations manager, holding a piece of tape and then pointing straight at the webcam. I assume <laughs> you can guess what's coming next. <laughs> Yo, dog. I would be in a scramble too, bro. The whole operation is is crum is crumbling down, and it's one guy. This is one guy doing all this. This is one guy doing this, bro. It's not like he's like an army of dudes. One dude. Not like this, dog. <laughs> oh yeah, this is definitely it. They're taping it forever. <laughs> Why are you guys smashing the laptop? Yeah, smashing they're smashing the laptop. Yeah, they're... And the scammers lived miserably ever after. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe before clicking off. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Yo, dog, I'm not gonna lie to you. That shit was mad satisfying. Like, I don't know why that shit was so satisfying to watch. Like, just see it. Like, yo, honest, like, I'm just, I'm kind of like mad. Like, I'm kind of like mad that he didn't like, like contact the authority. I mean, he contacted the FBI. I don't even know how you do that. How do you contact the FBI? Like who? How do you do that? How do you just wake up and go like, yeah, okay, can I speak to the FBI? Like, how do you? I don't even know how you do that. But anyways, I'm just mad. Like, what I see, I was expecting for like the goddamn feds to just swarm the location of where the scammers were at and just like take them down on camera. Is there a video where that has happened? I want to see that. I really want to see that happen. I don't know. You guys remember that show like Beyond Scared Straight? It's it's like this this kind of shit reminds me of that. It's like. It's like sweet justice, you know, like those kids on that show go into that jail program thinking like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be able, I'm the biggest, baddest gangster. And then they come out of that jail program fucking crying, weeping, you know, crying for their mom and shit like that. I This is like something similar. Like this is kind of like sweet justice. You got these people halfway across the world scamming people out of their hard earned money. And then, you know, in return, they get their entire operation shut down or at least very much disrupted. I'm all for this. Listen to me. Uh, what's this guy's name? Nano GX. Listen to me, Nano GX. If you ever need help, okay, if you ever need to, like, I, I, listen, I'm not, I don't think I'm as good technical wise as you, but like, listen, if you ever need a diversion, okay, if you ever need a guy that does a voice acting or some shit like that to play the role of some shit, just let me know, dog. I'm here. I, I play a phenomenal crackhead, okay? You ever need help with when it comes to any of that shit? Let me know, man. I play and I play an amazing 
diversion. While you're sitting there hacking through their through their entire mainframe, I'm the guy sitting there distracting the ass by, while you leak and dox their entire fucking uh, index, okay? Your, the entire company index, okay? I'm the guy that's, I'm the guy for the job, okay? So if you ever need help with that, let me know. But yeah, that was uh, Scammers Panic after I hacked their CCTV cameras. Very interesting. This guy, this was a phenomenal video. Listen, if you guys have not liked the video yet man okay you go do that please okay go ahead and do that otherwise me otherwise i you're gonna be the next victim okay you're gonna be the next victim we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna find your ass we're gonna do the exact same thing to you so make sure you like the video if you have not liked the video okay one like a day all right keeps the scammers away so make sure you like the video if you have not liked the video, man. Um, sub to the channel if you have not subbed to the channel. Uh, give me some other suggestions in the comments, man. Let me know what other stuff I should react to. Like I said, I do not, I cannot respond to all the comments, but I promise, I swear to God on everything that is holy, I read each and every one of the comments, okay? I see each and every one, especially the people who are regulars. Okay, that watch the channel. I read each and every one of your comments, even all the all the ones that say first, the ones that are there to spam first. At the, as soon as the video drops, I see you. Okay, I just cannot respond to everything. Okay, I see all of you guys. I just cannot. I'm just so busy making the content, so I can't respond to everything. But I really do see each and every one of you guys, and I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. So make sure you guys leave a comment. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, let me know your suggestions on other stuff that I should react to. Somebody said something about uh, some beef between Screwface and some other guy. I'll I don't know. We'll see. I'll try to I'll do my best to look into it. I don't know something like we'll we'll we'll, we'll take a look at that. So you guys, let me know some uh, some suggestions of some stuff that you guys want me to react to uh, in in the future. Uh, like I said, sub to the channel, man. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. We're closing in, okay? We just, we just, we're almost there, man. We just need a little bit more of a push, okay? So, guys, please, sub to the channel if you have not subbed to the channel. Like the video, man. Let's, let's get to 50,000 subscribers. Tell your friend, your mom, your dad, your cousin, your dog. Please, let's get to 50,000 subscribers as fast as we possibly can. Let's get to 100,000 subscribers, okay, as fast as we possibly can. I know we can do it, guys, okay? It seems bleak, but I know we can do it. So please, for the love of God, sub to the channel, like the video if you have not done so. Please do those two things, chat. Please, for the love of God, I love each and every one of you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Where would I be without each and every one of you guys? And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace. This is how I'm coming. Yeah, I did this on my own. Don't you tell me something because I did it all alone. You ain't helping nothing. No, no, nah, no. Nah. You ain't helping nothing. No, no, nah, no. Nah. Came up from the guys and niggas show me some respect. Niggas mad because I ain't break them off on all these checks. You ain't helping nothing. No, no, no. You ain't helping nothing. No, no, no.